Thanks. Uh, top strategist at Wells Fargo Security is concerned about investor overconfidence over the next six months. Chris Harvey is the firm's head of equity strategy. Chris, welcome. What do you? How do you react to what Tim just said about the consumer maybe getting a little more timid? Is that? Are you seeing any signs of a of that? So, so Tyler, what I think is happening with the consumer is you don't have to wor worry about the consumer buckling under. The, the finances are okay. What you have to worry about is where he or she is going to spend their money. Right? What we're seeing is the consumer saying, I'm not paying that for that. Right? And where are they spending their money? They're spending it in Costco. They're spending it in Walmart. They're spending it in TJX, in Ollie's, uh, in Burlington, off price. What is that telling you? They're, it's telling you that they're stretched, they're not finding a lot of utility in the market, and they're being very, very selective. And that's what we should expect going forward. Don't expect a ton from the consumer, but the consumer is not going to knuckle under at this point in time. They're just going to be very, very select. Let's talk about the great hero of the first half of the year, and that would be NVIDIA, which has been on Wells Fargo's uh, sort of hot list uh, for quite a while. Yeah. What do you see in NVIDIA? Yeah. Is it if you own a bunch of it, is it time to trim? Oh, right. Some people are doing that yep. uh, because it's become such a large part of their portfolio. So it's from inertia. Yeah, so, Tyler, that, that's exactly what we did. So we have it in our, uh, excuse me, in our, our six pi SIG PICS portfolio, right, which is our best ideas portfolio. It's been a top SIG idea. SIG PICS, not <laughs> the, six, 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 that's why you need it. Yeah. <laughs> the Signature PICS portfolio. I'm going to take a little okay. bit of heat on that one. That's six picks. Okay. <laughs> so it's been a top idea for a while. It's performed, at, as you know, uh, exceptionally well. And, and we just keep bumping up into our risk control. So we, we trim it back, we trim it back, but it still remains one of our top ideas. And, and the bigger picture, right, NVIDIA is part of that momentum trade. And so is that momentum trade going to break, bend? What is it going to do? We think that the momentum trade is only going to bend here. It's not going to break because a lot of the macro factors that you need to break it just aren't where, the, where they need to be, whether it's credit spreads, whether it's the valuation of the contrarian basket, or whether it's the economy, which is not accelerating. So you're a little worried about investor overconfidence, but not yeah. all that worried, it would no. seem. No, because what I think is this is a period in the market where people put on more and more risk. You're not getting penalized for putting on more and more risk. At the beginning of the year, many people thought the Fed would be cutting several times at this point. What was their penalty? S&P up 15%. When that occurs, I feel pretty good. It's like at Vegas. Just... Just put it, in the, put it in the middle, and let's keep it going. Anybody have a quick question for Chris before we yeah. let him go? Yeah, so, so uh, how much of the seasonality are you yeah. putting, in, putting into it? How much of the election year cycle are you putting into it? And then when you're rolling in, not to get too far ahead of, ahead of us, right. but when you look at Q1 uh, of 2025, at whoever is in office right there, is it a let the air out of the balloon event? Right. So a lot there. So the first thing I would say is that the presidential cycle is really important. And we saw what happened with the debate and pres former President Trump's probability went higher. That's really important to the market because if he wins, the probability that the Senate goes GOP also is very high. What does that do? That's a more, it's a less regulatory strict environment, right? So what you should see is more M&A activity. Get more M&A activity, more IPOs, more risk-seeking, and the market can go higher. And traditionally, with a GOP Senate, that's a very good formula for the equity market.